Good evening everyone, welcome to Six Flags America. I'm here with my friend Tyler and today we're gonna to be spending the evening in the park, checking out their attractions and what they have going on for the holiday season. Uh, now, as usual with uh, parks this year, things are a little bit different with COVID. Well, are things different? Uh, maybe know. not, maybe they're not, I don't know. Uh, I try to go to this event every year if I can, but I didn't go last year, so yep. it's been a bit, but this is opening night of <laughs> yeah, Holiday in the Park, night. that's nice. So, uh, where are you looking forward to? Uh, I'm looking forward to riding Wild One a little bit. That's yeah. it's one of my classic favorites. Um, it's a good one. It's a shame that Superman isn't open, especially Batwing, because we don't know how much longer it's going to be here. Yeah. Um, and Joker's <laughs> Jinx is obviously really fun. Harley Quinn didn't open this year like it was supposed to, but the area looks absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's a shame that Gotham City is open for Holiday in the Park. I was hoping they would do that this year, but with yeah. everything going on, you can't really expect too much. Sure, but sure. But I'm excited to get on everything else that is open. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go on in. It is like 55 degrees out, so it's not even that cold, but they have a fire going. I'm sure they'll be nice tonight. Yeah, but really. Yeah, they actually have some really nice decorations all around. Lots of wreaths and garlands. Yeah, better than the last time I was here. I haven't been here since me and Dakota in 2017. Oh my Halloween gosh! Park. Yeah, 2017. Was like 15 degrees it, though. We were here. And we rode the Super Loop and we rode the Flyers. And we rode the Drop Tower. And the Drop Tower. That was the only rides that were open. Yeah. That was oh, insane. That was, that was the coldest experience I've ever had at a park. Dakota. Hey. I can't feel my face. Me neither. I can't feel my hands. I can't feel my. Uh, I forgot that they renamed rides for Christmas. Mind Eraser is now Reindeer's Flight. Oh my gosh. What a terrible flight. Well, we did not do Mind Eraser because I overruled that decision, but we did Roar and you know, I'm gonna say the same thing about this ride that I did in my last vlog from Hershey Park. I think this would be a great ride to get the GCI Titan track. The layout isn't bad. We already know what it would look like as an RMC because it's in California. It's called Joker. So, you know, give this the uh, Titan track treatment, just make it a lot smoother. I think it'd be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see what you're talking about. I know like, you know, Joker obviously does exist in California, but Six Flags doesn't care about that. The general public does definitely would not care about so it. So they could RMC so it. They could right? RMC it. I think if they were going to RMC it, it already would have happened. I think, yeah. they, I think they missed their chance doing it before King's Dominion RMC it early. I actually agree. I think if they were going to do it, they would have done it before they did. Yeah. So. That's a good point. I mean, when you have another RMC an hour and a half away. It's kind of hard to advertise too. It's not, yeah. a, it's not as marketable as like a Raptor could be here. Or I think, me and my mom have talked about this a lot, a free spin here would kill. Oh, would absolutely. Really oh, I totally here. agree. Starting to get a bit dark around. We're about to take a ride on Firebird. This will be my first time since this ride opened. Apparently it's gotten better, so let's go for a spin and see how it is. Firebird was okay. okay. It does a lot of like like this. Yeah, the like, vi yeah, vibration. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, I don't know if it's the fact that it's the conversion or maybe the original yeah. track work because this was yeah. the first B and M. I was asking you how Patriot runs. Yeah, I've Air done Patriot Java. and that that does a similar kind of thing, but I don't know. I feel like maybe it does yeah. a bit better. So it could just be the fact that this is a pretty old ride uh, yeah. by nature. And so it's been relocated. Too. It has yeah, been yeah, relocated. Yeah, so. That. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna try it again. Tyler says it's better in the back. Oh, they just turned the lights. Anyways, apparently it's better in the back, so we'll come back and try it again later. Look how hype this is. Look, the sign lights up at night. That's actually really cool. Here's the saddest part of the day. Gotham City is closed, but we can get a little bit of a sneak peek if we uh, walk up here, cross the train tracks, look both ways before crossing, and there it is. What's that? That's Harley Quinn, the new, uh, new Frisbee. Taking the place of the Sky Coaster. 
It is basically done, but it is, they it did is postpone done. it, so we'll have to yeah. write it next year. But it does look good. It looks a lot better there than the Sky Coaster did. Can you oh, yeah. shut up? Why are you so loud? Oh my god. <laughs> For a 100 year old wooden roller coaster, that thing's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. So <laughs> Matt, good. you said that was better than you expected. Yes, my spine is still, you know, aligned, <laughs> so we're good. We're good, we're driving. That yeah. On the way back, that was smooth. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, we, we did it uh, towards the back, and, and that was good. Uh, the pretty good floater airtime. I, I want to try it again in the front. I, that was a pleasant surprise. I think I forgot how much fun that is. I like what they did with the decorations in this area because it's not over the top, but it's like just enough that it fits kind of the general theme that they went for this area. It looks nice. Very Louisiana. Oh my gosh, we just spun so much. We hit one of these turns and we weighted the vehicle so that all the weight was on one side and we just went flying. Matt, you were like oh, blown oh, away. We were, I, I don't do that. This <laughs> kid like slammed to one side out of nowhere. Just, we were not spinning like at all. And then we hit that one turn like I don't even know where. Yeah, the spinning started spinning. off okay. And then we hit like that one. It and just took off out of nowhere. Just, oh, it was amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And that was your first time riding it I too. Was. I'm, I'm still like, oh. I, I was off. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a wild one. That's the real wild that's one. That's not the wild one. one. That's the wild one. Thank you for making us a part of your holiday tradition. May you have a safe and happy holiday. Spread the glow here and everywhere. Today and That's actually every really day. cool. We just did Firebird in the back. That was a lot better, guys. I told you. Easily better in the back. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, that was, that was probably the best ride I've had on that thing. Agreed. It's a fairly long ride. It still doesn't have the strongest layout, but that's, yeah. that's okay. 1990 D&M. You were saying it kind of felt a bit like Rougarou. It does, it got, it's got some Rougarou vibes to it. It's got like that, that just those intense like turns, I guess. I yeah, know. when I first rode this, the review I gave of it wasn't very favorable. But I gotta say, I think it definitely has gotten better. Made it over to the front entrance. Yeah, this area looks great. Tyler made a great point that a raptor would look so good right here, just where Shipwreck Falls is, because, I mean, look, it is the perfect amount of space for it. It's right here, right? It's right here. I mean, you could do lift till there, and then uh, the dive loop would be like right here off axis. You can put the station like right over here. Well, we were talking about earlier the 15 rides that Six Flags is supposed to get rid of this off. Maybe, right? maybe this and will be one of them. We were thinking Batwing, Blizzard River, and I said this and you didn't even think about it. Yeah, that's the Raptor here. And now we're looking at it, it's like literally a perfect fit. Right, I mean, we have no idea what the 15 rides that Six Flags will be taking out of us, but we figured that it will probably, there will at least one ride from this park will be going, so maybe it'll be Shipwreck Falls. They could put in uh, something else here, but I think also Penguin's Blizzard River is definitely a contender, and, and Batwing is known for having problems. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but yeah, dream if Six Flags want to invest in this park. A Raptor would be really sweet right here. I love the white lights they have in this area. This tree hanging out here all around Roar. All right, we're on our way out of the park. We ended it with two back-to-back -back rides in the front row on Roar. Arr, and it's actually arr. pretty good. I it, mean, it was actually a really good night ride. When you go over the first drop, you get to, like pitch black. Yeah. Perfect. It was really Yeah, we good. couldn't see anything. It, it was pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's not the strongest GCI layout, but as a night ride in the front, hey, it wasn't yeah. bad at all. Like we were saying earlier, just keep better care of it. That ride would have been fantastic if it just had better track work. Yeah, I definitely agree. So that's going to do it from our evening here at Six Flags America. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.